Let's move away from politics now and to matters environmental. Plastic bags have been declared an environmental nightmare. And yet, there is hardly any Kenyan household that lacks a good stock of the plastic bags. However, it's now just a matter of time before Kenya joins the rest of the world in abolishing the use of plastic bags. And today, this issue took center stage as the World Environmental Day was marked. Talks on plastic ban, which is expected to take effect on August 28th, this year dominated the speeches of the stakeholders in the environment sector during the celebrations of World Environment Day. Speaking during the event, Cabinet Secretary for Environment and Natural Resource, Professor Judy Wahungu, termed environmental sanity as a matter of global concern, particularly at a critical point when the globe is grappling with effects of climate change. This is not the first time that Kenya has made an attempt at banning the usage of plastic bags as similar attempts were made in 2007 and later in 2011, with Rwanda as the only country in the region which has managed to do away with environmental pollutants. Perhaps due to the reason that a biodegradable alternative hadn't been offered. Plastic bags were thought to be a cheap, easy solution in packaging but the negative effects on the environment have become too expensive to bear. Plastic pollution is a global problem. Clearly, environmentally, plastic pollution is a growing disaster. Challenges of environmental management are common across all counties. The authority will ensure that it implements relevant strategies while at the same time use relevant legislation throughout the country so as to ensure maximum environmental protection. There is still time to harness the remarkable ingenuity that has enabled Kenya to progress at such a rapid economic rate. We can turn challenges into opportunities. James Wakibia has been vocal in Nakuru County raising awareness on ban on plastics. Under the tagline, Ban Plastics Kenya, Wakibia has been vocal on plastic waste and in December of 2015, he petitioned the Nakuru County Assembly to ban the use of plastics under 100 microns in the county. His push was greatly attributed to the location of Nakuru's Gyoto Dam site in London Estate. To him, the announcement by CS Wahungu is an answered prayer. There has been an issue that we, when we ban plastic, when Kenya bans plastic, what is going to happen to those guys who have been employed by companies manufacturing plastic bags? Should we save the environment or save those guys employed by, by the companies that produce plastic bags that destroy the environment? It's something to think about. While the government is relentless on the ban, stakeholders in the industry, mainly manufacturers and industrialists, whose lines of production and nature of business demand an intensive usage of the bugs, seem not to welcome the move. My ministry, through NEMA, has developed a strategy of engaging all stakeholders who may be in one way or another affected by the plastic ban. Spiraling urban waste is a matter that continues to confront many county governments, given the fact that the urban population is expected to drastically grow in the near future. Victor Gale, KTN News, Nakuru County.